Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be filming a first impressions video. I've collected a load of makeup over the past like month or so and it's not going to be a full face of first impressions but there are a few products that I can obviously test out in this video. I know that the lighting is horrendous. I've had to shut my curtains and I've got my light on and my lamp on so I'm filming in completely like unnatural light which I don't like to do but with my curtains open it's way too bright. So I hope that the lighting is going to be okay and I'm really sorry that it's rubbish but I'm just going to get straight into the video I hope you guys enjoy please remember to give it a huge thumbs up if you do and subscribe to my channel and I'm just going to get straight into it so I do have a primer to test. I have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I have wanted to try this for ages and to be honest I just haven't picked it up. I haven't seen it in any stores near me. This was I believe £8 and I got it from Boots and I'm really excited to try it. I've, I've heard that it's um, a dupe for the Natasha, D not Natasha Denona. Um, oh my god, why can't I think of what it is? Tarcha. I've heard it's a, <laughs> I've heard it's a dupe for the Tarcha Primer. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try it. I don't really know how to apply this. I'm just going to like, go like this. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how I feel about this because you have to dip your fingers in. Shall I scrape some? I'm just going to take some on the back of my hand, I think, and warm it up because I don't like the th thought of like dipping my hand into that. This is the Universal Sheer Primer. They had a mattifying one, but I just wanted to try the original one to begin with. It feels really moisturising. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do but it feels good on the skin so next I have a foundation to try I've wanted to try this for years and just never picked it up I don't really know why to be honest this is the Revlon Color Stay foundation and this has been raved about by Soph Does Life for literally years this used to be like her go-to foundation I'm pretty sure and I've always wanted to try it but I just never got around to picking it up to be honest this is in the shade buff I really struggle to choose a shade in store because obviously with COVID they've got rid of all the testers. It's really runny, I wasn't expecting it to be that runny and it smells a bit questionable too but we're just going to go with it. Um, I was expecting it to be a really thick foundation. I guess it will be really lightweight because it's so thin. So I'm just going to use my sponge to blend this in. Yeah I will say I literally can't feel this on my skin at all. A lot of foundations feel really heavy. This. I literally can't feel it so it's definitely true when they say it's lightweight the finish of it is lovely it's really really lightweight like I said so it doesn't feel like I've got a lot on my face but my skin looks really smooth and that could also be down to the primer too I know that but my skin looks really really nice I'm really impressed actually so I don't actually have a concealer to try so I'm just going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Swan. This is the newest concealer I have so I'll just go in with this. I'm still, I'm not quite decided on this concealer yet. I think that's the case with a lot of people. I think you kind of get like warm up to it. I'm not really sure. I've heard that with a lot of YouTubers. They weren't that keen on it and then they like loved it in the end. And to be honest like I'm just not. 100% sure I was expecting it to be like insane and it's not bad at all but I guess I just had like ridiculously high hopes for it probably like unachievable because of the amount of people that raved about it but yeah it's not bad at all for powder I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Peach Perfect powder again this is the newest powder that I've got but this is like whoa this is like one of my favorite powders so my skin looks really really good it looks really smooth it looks really concealed um, everything has worked really well together and normally I don't like to try too many base products at once obviously because you don't know what's really good and what's not but everything looks really really nice okay so for bronzer you guys might already know but I've been literally desperate to try this bronzer for ages this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I finally bought it I just kind of thought stuff it why not I've wanted it for months and obviously it's not something that I've just like wanted on a whim and then just kind of changed my mind about because I have literally wanted it for ages so I finally bought it. Okay that's very pigmented. Really pigmented actually and I can't bloody see what it looks like in real life because the lighting is so dark. Like in here on the camera it doesn't look dark but it's really really dark in person. I was worried that this would be too pale for my skin but you can see it's actually not. It looks really nice. It's a really good colour. Really. 
this is so pigmented it's actually mental oh my god jesus you need to tap your brush off that's for sure i look ridiculous don't i so i've just looked at this in natural light with the curtain open and it looks so so nice it's such a beautiful bronzer it blends so nicely you saw like when i put that on my nose it was way too much and even now it does look a little bit too much in this lighting but in natural light it doesn't look that crazy i just don't think this light is doing me any favors for blusher i have one from my glossy box this is the beauty crop stargazing blush duo and i think this is probably going to be too dark but i don't have another blush to try i'm really nervous okay yeah it's quite pigmented it blends really nicely it's definitely more of a shimmery blusher like i said um i normally prefer more of a matte one but in natural light it's not too much but like i said this light is just making everything look a lot more vibrant than what it is but with my curtain open it actually looks really nice it's not too crazy i don't actually have a highlighter to try so i'm just going to go in with my ColourPop super shock super shock highlighter in the shade stole the show and I'm just going to use my finger and just pat this on my face. I love this highlighter. I don't use it too often because I get a bit scared of it. Because it's more of a cream highlighter. But it does blend so beautifully anyway. So as you can see it just is more of like a glow from within kind of highlight. Rather than like a sit on top of your skin highlight. I don't actually have a new setting spray to try. So I'm going to go in with my Iconic London one. Smells insane. Okay, my face is a bit wet. That was too much. I love how my skin is looking. It looks so, so nice. It looks so flawless and like just beautiful and glowy. Okay, so I have a new eyebrow product to try and I'm so excited about it. I said a few videos ago that I really wanted to try some new eyebrow products because I always use my Benefit ones. And I was in Boots the other day and I found one that I used to love before I discovered my Benefit ones and it is the revolution pro brow pomade i used to be obsessed with this i remember it being really good so i hope that it still is i'm just going to use my benefit brow brush also this brow pomade is much more of like a hard texture so it's really easy to work with it's not like slippery like some brow pomades i love this i honestly think this might be on par with like the cabral by benefit and it's so much cheaper I'd say it's been at least four years since I've used this and I can see why I used to use it all the time. It's so good. Okay, so like, I don't mean to be dramatic, but <laughs> I honestly think that's as good as my Benefit Cabral. I mean, if 16 year old me did anything right with my makeup, it was my eyebrow products. Not my eyebrows, my eyebrows were horrendous. But this eyebrow product, like, props to me for choosing this because it's really good. For my brow gel, I again don't have a new one to try so I'm just going to go in with my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I love this, it's one of my favourite brow products because it just literally glues your brows down and it doesn't add any colour which is quite nice, especially today like because I'm using a pomade, I don't want to add in too much colour to it because then they'll be quite dark. We are doing good, when is the tits up part of it going to come? Probably now actually, let's say that because i have a f oh god i have a faux freckle thing to try this is the lottie london freckle tint and i love the look of faux freckles i'm not gonna lie to you guys like i'm obsessed and i have wanted to buy the freck for ages but it's so expensive it's like 20 something pound for a bottle about this big and i'm not gonna pay that i saw this on the feel unique website and i thought i'd try it it's got loads of good reviews i'm literally just gonna really randomly dot this on my face and hope to god that it doesn't look stupid it's a very warm color that's what i will say have i done it wrong it just looks like splatters have i done it wrong i don't understand yeah see when you blend them like they're just turning into massive blobs on my face and they don't look like freckles <sighs> i had such high hopes maybe i'm just shit and doing it wrong but nah i hate it it looks ridiculous what have i done is it my fault the tiny ones look fine but the big ones just look freaking stupid 
Just gonna go in with some of my Mac Studio Fix and just see if maybe like dulling them down might help. Right, moving on before we have like another temper tantrum. I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I've only used this once, so I guess it is kind of still a first impression. I've kind of forgotten what I thought of it, so that didn't do that last time, but it's breaking up on my eyelid. Right, so for eyeshadow, I have one that I received in my glossy box this month, and the black is quite literally smashed, so that can go in the bin. Only half of it broke, but still, it's a bit gutting. But I'm just going to go in with the shade Sunstone here. The colours are really lovely, they're really warm tones, which you guys know is the kind of eyeshadow palette I like. And I'm just going to put this shade through my crease. So it seems to be blending really, really nicely. It's quite pigmented, but it's not too pigmented. So next I'm going to go in with the shade, is it Aragonite? I have no idea but that's the colour I'm going to go in with and I'm just going to then deepen my crease a bit further with this. Okay that's really pigmented. It seems to be blending out really nicely which is good because I obviously put a lot of product on to begin with because I didn't expect it to be that pigmented because the first shade wasn't. I just remembered I've got an eyeshadow brush in here to try. This is the Spectrum Zodiac B07 brush, the Tall Crease Blender brush. This again came in my glossy box, so I'm going to give this brush a go. The packaging is really, really nice. It feels really heavy. It feels really good quality. And I'm just going to take a little tiny bit more of that colour on this brush and just deepen my crease a tiny bit more. And then finally, I'm going to go in with the shade Tiger's Eye. Well, not finally, but... These do have a lot, a lot of fallout, like kickback on them in the pan. So you definitely need to tap off the brush for that reason as well. But like, look how pigmented that is. That's insane. I'm just going to deepen the outer corner with this. I'm just going to take a clean blending brush. This is the Morphe E22 brush. And just try and blend that out because it's so, so pigmented. I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to go in with what's left of this black shade and I'm going to do like a bit of a liner across my lash line. Uh, I'm going to take this brush here. This is the LA Splash Defining Brush and I'm going to do a bit of a wing with it. That's a very pigmented black. Wow. I can't get over how pigmented that black is. I'm gutted that's broken now. I love this. It's definitely not a look that I normally do. I normally just go really simple, but I kind of really like low-key love it. Just to finish off the eye look, I'm going to go in with my Colourpop eye eyeshadow. No. Colourpop highlighter and just highlight on my inner corner. For some reason, it's gone a little bit patchy on my inner corner. Yeah, you can see here, look. That here, there's like a random line. And then it's really dark here and it's like the eyeshadow hasn't stuck in here. Like it's really strange. For mascara, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll mascara. Just going to go in with this because I don't have any new mascara to try. Oh, so we are in lockdown here in the UK. This is lockdown at 2.0 and I am literally so bored. I am not even joking you guys. I can't see Harry which is bloody gutting because I really miss him and I really want to see him. And today has just gone so slowly, so like it's half two and it feels like it should be about six o'clock because it's just gone so bloody slow. I know that we're all in the same position, obviously if you're from the UK then you'll be in the same position. And I just feel a bit rubbish about it all to be honest, like it's just crap. But it has to be done because the cases were ridiculous here in the UK, like horrendous, but like I'm just bored. And I wanted to do so many like Christmassy vlogs, which I'm hoping I still can because this lockdown is supposed to end on the 2nd of December. And obviously by then like Christmas vlogs will only just be starting. But I just hope to God that it does end because last time we were meant to have like a four week lockdown, it turned into like three months, which was in March. Like genuinely, I just don't think my mental health could cope with a longer lockdown than a month because... I don't do very well without seeing Harry and being in the house all the time and like I just get really overwhelmed. I'm a bit of a germaphobe anyway. Um, I've never really spoken about my mental health but 
I have OCD and I am a bit of a germaphobe and like this whole pandemic has made everything worse. Like my hands, I don't know if you can see, but they're like cracked and bleeding because I wash my hands so much and it has taken its toll on me and I'm not gonna like talk about it too much in this video. But I hope that you guys are all well because this is rubbish and I completely get it. And like it would be so much easier for me if I could see Harry, but I can't and that is literally the main thing that bothers me not being able to see him because he is literally like my rock and I don't do very well without seeing him so what can you do though because it has to be done I did consider doing a video like having OCD in a pandemic but I don't know whether I want to like put that out on the internet it's very like a very vulnerable thing to talk about obviously like mental health is a scary thing to talk about but it does need to be spoken about because so many people suffer from it like my family directly has been affected by mental health and I don't know it's something that needs to be spoken about and I have considered doing a video on like having OCD health anxiety in a pandemic and if that is something that you guys want to see please let me know can you tell I'm getting all anxious because I'm like hunched up um but yeah please let me know if that is something that you guys would want to see because I did consider it and I had like notes written out and everything and then I just didn't do it because I got a bit scared to be honest so if that's something that you guys want to see do let me know Right, I really need to stop talking because I'm not actually getting anywhere. Um, I have three lip products to try. I have the Maybelline Colour Sensational Lip Liner. I have the Emmy Way Liquid Lipstick. And I have this Cloud Blotted Lip Colour from Revlon. So I'm going to firstly go in with this liner. I'm just going to line my lips with this, which is probably going to go tits up because... Are you okay? Do you actually just not want to be used? Because, like, clearly not. What is wrong with you? <sighs> right, like I was saying, this is probably going to go really wrong, but I'm going to give it a go. Oh, I forgot to say what shade this is. This is the shade Nude Whisper. And then I think for this video, I'm going to go in with this Revlon Blotted Lip Colour. This is in the shade Whipped Hazelnut. Is this not literally just like a normal liquid lipstick? I won't lie, I'm slightly confused because I'm sure that's just a normal liquid lipstick. Okay, no, now I get it, yeah. If you tap it, and actually just as it's drying down normally, it is like more of like a powdery finish rather than a liquid lipstick finish, which is really nice actually, I really like that. I love that lip combo, that liquid lipstick, whatever this is, blotted lip, is so nice, it's so comfortable, it doesn't feel like I've got anything on my lips, like, that's so nice. The eyeshadow I love, the palette was so nice, so pigmented, and that black was insane. The freckles I'm not sure on, because maybe it's just because I'm not used to it, the more I look at them, the more I am, kind of, they're growing on me. But yeah, my skin looks so good, that bronzer I love, the foundation I love, like, I'm obsessed with everything, pretty much. But if I give you a little zoom... You can see everything up close. Eyeshadow, which is not something that I normally do, this kind of look. I normally just, I'm lazy and do something really simple, but I really like it. Freckles, yeah, they just look a bit harsh, I guess, but the camera is making it look a lot darker than what they are. But I really like it. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you want me to film that like mental health video kind of thing. I don't know if that's something you guys will be interested in. So yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Please stay safe and look after yourselves and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.